Hey guys, Josh here again. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, doing some more Jeep work today. We got my son's uh, 2000 uh, WJ Grand Cherokee up on the up on the jack stands today. Um, after we finished the lift, he was getting a lot of death wobble and stuff like that, and uh, so we had it checked out. And sure enough, you know the tie rod and the drag link. I mean, they're 20 years old. Guys are 22 years old. As old as a Jeep, they've never been changed. So we had to get, do some upgrades. So right now, we got the Jeep jacked up here. Um, you know, he's underneath getting some of the cotter pins out. We just sprayed it with some PB blaster here to hopefully get it loosened up. But, uh, we got a new kit here from Trail Forge. Uh, so we got the brand new drag, uh, the drag link and the tie rod. All new ends with the Heme Gens in it. So we're going to get that installed today. This will be a little more of an instructional video, guys. We'll give it a little more in-depth look as we're doing the work here. Um, because we're going to, you know, we'll have the time to actually get in and be able to see in it. So we're going to, uh... You know, you'll see some more video in a minute. Next video here, or the next part of this video here, guys, we're going to show you the parts that we ordered to be put in there. All right, guys, so here's a look at the Trail Forge uh, upgraded steering kit here. You can see on every end of it here, it's got these nice heam joints. Yeah, you know I mean, they're very, very nice. Um, the bars themselves, the actual center bars, are very beefy. Um, they have this nice, I don't know if you can see them, this nice hammered powder coat finish on them. You can also order these in raw steel from them and paint them yourself, but we chose to just have them powder coated. And then they give you all the hardware you need. This is for the steering damper to get connected to. Um, here's all the bolts and washers. What's nice is they actually put the bolts and the washers together for you so you know, hey, this is for this, this is for this. You don't got to think at all um, when you start to install these later. Um, and then we ordered the reamer bit that they provide too just because... The, uh, the steering knuckles and stuff like that, you got to ream them out to 5 eighths of an inch. You know, a little goodie package with stickers and candy and crap like that in it. So, but overall, guys, really beefy kit. Looks really nice. And uh, looking forward to get this installed and hopefully solve his, uh, his uh, death wobble and steering issues. We'll have more in a minute. Do you not have, like, inches? All right, guys. So, he's got the cotter pins pulled out here from the end of the drag link and the end of the uh, tie rod on both sides. Again, we hit it with a little PB blaster. Now he's grabbing some wrenches. We're going to get those crown nuts off. And then once we get the crown nuts off and the steering dampener off, then we can start working on um, reaming out those holes for the larger bolts. All right, guys. So after a little battle and fighting, we got the drag link out. We got the tie rod end out. So the next thing we're going to do is we got our, tool, we got our reamer here set up in our drill. We're going to lube those up a little, a little WD-40, keep it lubed, but then we're going to ream those holes out to 5 8 because that's what the new hardware is that you see over here. It's all that big, heavy-duty hardware. So we got to ream all four, uh, we're going to ream all four holes out, and then we can get to installing the new parts. Alright guys, so we're getting ready to put the, the drag link back in. They give you all the hardware you need for this heme joint here. And if you look on their instructions, I'll give you guys a look at it here, but it basically it goes washer, spacer that they provide here, then it goes through the joint, then a spacer, then a washer, then through the pitman arm or the or the knuckle, then another washer. And then there's a nut that goes on the end. So that's how we're gonna, that's for the drag link. On the uh, track bar, or not the track, yeah, on the track bar, not track bar, on the uh, tie rod, there's no, uh, these bushings are not, these fancy bushings are not part of the kit. It's just a shorter bolt that goes through. But I'll show you that pattern as we get into it. But for now, we're just gonna get the pitman arm side lined up and then we're gonna turn it and we're gonna get the, um, the other side, the knuckle side up, and then we'll be going into. Hopefully get the drag the tie rod put in. Alright guys, so we're getting ready to do the tie rod in now. Same exact hardware except there's none of those little spacers. So it just goes washer, hem joint, washer, uh pitman or uh, knuckle, then washer, um, and then nut. So we're gonna do that now to put this side in, get the other side in. We only put, we're only putting it loose at the moment. 
because we got to make sure everything's lined up straight and then we also got to adjust that steering to get his steering wheel turning straight again too so we're going to do that and then uh we'll be back with some more sorry all right guys so we got the new tie rod and the new drag link in you can see there guys the hardware and the stuff that's provided by trail forge much nicer than what we had previously you know it's big grade 8 heavy hardware nice hem joints on the end again the powder coating on the parts look great and same thing on this side guys you know you can see that they again very nice machined hardware very 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 nice so we just need to get the uh there's a clamp that they gave us for the uh steering dampener we're gonna get that installed throw the wheels back on and uh we'll go for a ride see if it shakes or not all right guys this is just a view from underneath the jeep right now you can see all the new uh the new track bar i'm not sorry the new tie rod guys and the new drag link sorry i keep saying track bar guys but i mean there is a new track bar in there too from trail forge but or from uh i rock off-road but the the drag link here that we're seeing here all the way up to the pitman arm and our uh tie rod is from trail forge so but we just got everything done the only difference was guys is the bolt we had for the steering dampener there the bottom one was a little too long so i had to run to ace and get one that was a little shorter but it's all done we're going to be heading out for a test ride and let's hope that uh a lot less shake we'll go find out now all right guys so we're in the we're in the sun's jeep right now the steering wheel is still a little bit off but we still plan on letting it go over to four wheel parts have them do a proper alignment on it you know i'm not a I'm no alignment specialist in this, you know, a lot, we replaced a lot of parts underneath, but the real click, the real trick here is right now we're up to about 40, 45 miles an hour, and uh, so far no shakes, but we're going to get going a lot faster here and see if we get any of that wobble he was thinking. The steering is definitely stiffer than it was with a lot less, um, with a lot less mess in it, like it's a lot more, a lot less sloppy. So it definitely feels better, it was definitely worth the upgrade. But I'm sure it still needs a decent alignment and things like that. So, um, but so far so good. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna drive around here a little bit and then uh, we'll be back to you. All right, guys. So out with the old and with the new. All that new steering components are in. We went down a couple dirt roads uh, in the back and uh, went down a couple dirt roads around the corner here. Got it to like 65 miles an hour. It's all bumpy and stuff like that. Jeep ran great, ran straight down the road, everything was running good. Still needs a little alignment, steering wheel's still a little off, but I'm gonna have four wheel parts do the uh, do a proper alignment on it. But overall, Trail Forge steering components, great stuff. If you guys are looking for a steering upgrade for your WJ or you got any issues, look up the guys at Trail Forge, really nice stuff. Till the next one, guys.